Welcome back to my channel, Divinely Guided Tarot. If you're new here, my name is Angel, and I'm here to bring you another general collective energy reading. This message could be for all signs, so please remember to take only what resonates with your particular situation. Leave the rest behind. And as always, guys, thank you so very much for everything that you do to help this channel grow. To uh, Just hitting that like and subscribe button alone is, is so wonderful. Thank you guys so very much. We're going to go ahead and take just a few moments to call in the Holy Spirit to help shield, guard, protect this portal while I channel divinely guided messages for my beautiful subscribers. Help me with messages that they need to hear at this divine right time. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right. Let's take a peek and see what the energy looks like this evening. Hoping that everybody is having a great day, great evening, great week so far. Energies have been feeling really, really good. Except that's good. All right. Let's take a peek and see what this message is about. We have Page of Swords on the bottom. Shoosh. Holy Spirit. Oh, well, that was quick. We have the Hierophant, the Nine of Cups. We have the King of Swords, and we have the Knight of Cups. I like that the first cards that do come out are showcasing your relationship with God. This is the angel of blessings. This is, this is blessings from God in the word of God. I should be very specific. You're building your foundation on the rock. You know, this is that energy. It's beautiful energy because it's strong. This is an energy that you can build a foundation on. And with the blessings, the angel of blessings and the nine of cups coming out right afterwards, this is a cup of wishes coming true. This is blessings upon blessings. This is a whole bunch of spirituality flowing out of this cup as well. This is overflowing love on the people around you. This is your spirituality, yes spirituality in the those blessings in those cups pouring out on everyone now i love that the king of swords right here is the card of decision you know the king of swords is holding the sword of truth he's being guided by divine ancestors he's got that royal purple robe on you know you can see his divinity a mile away right this is a very strong energy coming out. King of Swords to the Hierophant. Strong, but loving. Fierce, powerful, but compassionate and overflowing of abundance. It's like, yeah, strength on the bottom. Yeah, there's nothing that's going to stop you, Collective. Um, and this is definitely your energy popping up here. So this very strong stance, this very masculine stance, um, you're taking control in your life. And you're starting to step into your understanding of who you are and who you came on this planet to be. So I'm going to go ahead and dig into the tarot a little bit, figure out exactly what the Holy Spirit wants us to know about this individual with this beautiful relationship to God and truth. What are these decisions that are going to be coming up in the future? Holy Spirit, please clarify. Please and thank you. You're getting a lot of um, downloads or visions. Yeah. Seven of Cups there. Lots of visions. Lots of intuitive little nudges that you've been testing and following a little bit at a time. Like, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot and see what happens, you know? I feel like that's your energy. Like, okay, I'm going to act 
the way that I think God is telling me to act in one area of my life or another. And you're starting to see this wonderful success. This wonderful, wonderful success. And I really like seeing that you're testing God in these ways by saying, hey, okay, let me trust you. Let me see if this works. What do I got to lose? Good job. That's That takes a lot. But I see you taking baby steps with it. You want to make sure everything is on the up and up. And with the world card here, this is, you know, you completing cycles. This is you entering into a phase where you are tapping in to the strength of who you are and the power of God's love. And you're just now starting to realize that you are not like any person that has ever come before you or who will ever come after you. You are extremely unique. Not many people could turn their face away from the sword, you know? Looking at that hawk on this man's shoulder, on this man's arm, you know? Listening to the divine, listening to their guides, listening to God's words, right? And saying, I choose to follow you instead of this sword, instead of taking vengeance, instead of me taking matters into my own hand. This is... A man suffers ignorance with a smile. You know? That's powerful. It's very powerful. Well balanced. And you're pouring out such beautiful lessons um, in testimony to the people around you. We're talking about other individuals, other kings in your circle. This is a king of wands that has popped out here. That is possibly looking at you, other members in your circle that are looking at you and saying, how are you becoming successful? How are you breaking out of toxic cycles? So you may be giving information to other kings in your circle. Helping them and leading them in spirituality. Okay. This is divine masculines helping other divine masculines that they're friends with and bonding and forming a, a community of their own in spirituality. Like women do, how they, they get together and they, they support one another and it's all faith-based. Like there's a lot of strength in this particular group. You know what this looks like? This looks like an individual, a king of swords, who has come to some sort of calling in their life. And they are speaking at meetings, like, and speaking at maybe like prisons or something like that. Like an outreach program for men. Men who are troubled, men who suffer from addictions, men who are homeless, you know, you name it. There's, there's, there's a man's group for everything, just like there's a women's group for everything. And this is one way that this very strong, very powerful leader is giving back to God's kingdom by trying to share what this individual knows. Yeah. And we have the high, or excuse me, the uh, high priestess out here, the hierophant to the high priestess. This still feels like balance. This doesn't feel like a divine feminine at all. This still feels like that balance we talked about with this world card, this completing of cycle. This king of swords has embodied the and balance the feminine and the light aspects, the feminine and masculine aspects of themselves. First and foremost, making sure that that balance appeared in their relationship with God and their divine angels. Beautiful strength. If you're going to start off, that's exactly where you go. This person's path, this masculine energy here, this king of swords 
chose a hard path on earth, but it's yielding the best results that he could ever hope to come across. Because when you can learn balance first with your relationship with God, bam, everything just falls in place like dominoes. That's why it's raining blessings because you are planning every single blessing to be shared out back into the community, pouring strength back into the community, leading toxic men into their own divinity. This is also something else too. There's another timeline split here. There's two timelines here. One, the way I've described, there is another one where there is going to be a divine counterpart, a high priestess that joins this divine masculine, this hierophant energy in a nonprofit organization or some type of outreach where it's a husband and wife team that work together. And that's going to be very specific for maybe a handful of people, if that. The majority of the energy that I'm feeling is just this balance within this King of Swords. Beautiful. I feel like everyone has said that this King of Swords was um, too rogue, too, too angry, um, too quick to snap at people, too quick to block people. Like they would never have those meaningful relationships because they never let anybody get close to them because they thought they knew everything at one point in time in their life. And God humbled them and basically showed them that they knew nothing, <laughs> you know? So, um, I like this. This is very powerful. This is this is this person's ultimate mountain was to lower their ego to balance out their relationship on how they were with God. And they were shown a lot of things. I'm not going to lie. They were shown a lot of things. They had a lot of work, guys, just like we all do. Yeah, there was a lot of work. Um, this individual once upon a time had betrayed other feminine energies, I feel, or maybe betrayed themselves by denying themselves the relationship with God, you know, a lot of betrayal here, a lot of vengeance seeking, a lot of those swords being thrown around to the point where you became a king of swords, you know, you took deception, you took the betrayal, you took all of the nasty negative things and instead of resonating with it and unpacking in that toxic energy, you decided to trade it in. You traded it in for something better. And that was a chance to be able to make a difference in the world. Definitely a chance to make a difference. It took a long time for you to be alone in this energy with the Hermit card coming out, you guys. It took a long time to heal yourself because you had to go through the same kind of struggles and trials and tribulations that the individuals that you are helping have had to go through. You know, it's very difficult to help somebody if you haven't gone through what they've gone through. So you're coming up with a few new ways to bring about change in whatever area that you can. And one of the ways that you found to be very successful is your ability to inspire others, your ability to manifest beautiful lives for other people just by whispering encouragement to them, by whispering life, breathing life into them, by letting them know that they're not alone in this world. You are making this change. You are wielding God's magic in your very fingertips. Your hands were blessed to work. Did you know that? Your hands were blessed to work. And that's why with that Nine of Cups, you see that man 
sprinkling those rose petals into those living water cups. All that spirituality. Roses could be important to you. You could symbolize your relationship with God as a rose. I see a rose under a under glass. Not quite like Beauty and the Beast, like not like a cursed rose or anything, but I see like beautiful roses being kept under glass domes, um, like to protect them from the elements. It's like you're seeing God as this rose and you're guarding against um, pests coming in and, and eating the rose or letting frost get to it. It's like you're protecting God under this glass dome. It's kind of weird. I, I know it sounds a little funny, but that's what they're showing me here. Interesting. I want to go ahead and get some spirit animal cards here, some affirmation cards. Um, you know, with that hawk sitting right on this King of Swords uh, arm right here, it's letting me, it's giving me those vibes that you're communicating with divine ancestors and divine um, spirit animals that are here to, you know, kind of drop off messages to you. You know, when I go into my office at work, there is a mockingbird, I think it is. And it comes and it greets me um, before I walk into, you know, the doors of the building. And I think, I always thought it was just cute. Like, he just likes to come. Maybe he hears me whistling but from the time I get to my car to, uh, through the parking lot and he just follows me. But he greets me every single time I show up at the office. No matter when I show up, he's always there. And maybe you are communicating with animals that way too. Because I know like the animals that I communicate with, the hawks on my property, they deliver such beautiful messages. So it makes me wonder if you are also um, receiving beautiful messages from animals around you. Okay. So Holy Spirit, what is the message for the person that resonates? There's one, two, and three. Three, okay. Here we go. First one, we have the tiger. You could be a strong fire sign, okay? I see this as balance too. Feminine energy and masculine energy. I see that combination of that hierophant and the high priestess right there on the same card, which is suggesting that balance that you have with that relationship with God that peace that you have with God. It says, I choose to be unstoppable. My passion is my power. I am bold. I am brave. Mighty forces come to my aid. Absolutely they do. Absolutely. You also have the unicorn, which is the <laughs> card of infinite possibilities. It says, you are the sovereign of the seen and unseen worlds. The magic of love surrounds you. Beauty transforms you. You listen to the spirits of light. Abandon the darkness. Go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary. And that is very, very, very suggestive that you are the sovereign of the seen and unseen worlds. You connect with God by believing in the unseen. So there's power in belief when you've never seen it before. But then you have this high priestess card and she does see. So you are truly the sovereign of the seen and unseen worlds. There, priest and high priestess balancing out. That's suggesting this energy. It's mystical, it's magical. It's mighty and royal and regal. Ooh, my goodness. Yeah. You being unleashed in a world of awakening men who are seeking direction, lost flags billowing out in the wind. Man, you were, you knew what you were doing. God knew what he was doing when he chose you for this mission. And I feel like maybe King of Swords. You've said at some point in time in your life. 
why me? Why me? And God said, because I trusted you could handle the sheer task. I knew that you would survive. I knew you would survive. You know? You also have the sea otter, which is the card of happiness. This says, be the master of playful living. Release expectations and enjoy everyday life. Let the worry go and instead choose love. Surrender to the waves. Your good destiny of love is sure. You know, I had a channeled message earlier this week for myself. And it was God's reminder to me that adding even an hour of anxiety or grief or worry in my day adds no length of time to my life. No amount of anxiety and worry could ever add an hour to my lifespan. So why worry? Enjoy the little things. Enjoy this and celebrate every difference that you have with every person that you ever come across. Choose to be different. Choose to be positive. Make the choice to live instead of choosing to survive. That's what this card means to me, especially with this reading. And I see that you're successful. You are going to transform the lives of many people around you. Oh yeah, the goose, the card of inner knowing. I see geese migrating. I see people flocking to you. I see you making such a change in the lives of individuals who struggle that you are going to be a household name in like a particular area of the country. This is gorgeous energy. You're using your spiritual gifts and your divine gift of belief and faith. And you're pouring out that blessing on a planet. Particularly through, through one area. Like an outreach. I see it being big too. Like traveling to different prisons, traveling to different states, doing men's retreats. Like beautiful energy, you guys. It says you are the brave traveler. Your soul knows the way. Be confident you will achieve your destination. Loyal friends are always with you, so don't worry. You are blessed. Let yourself fly. Yes, let yourself enjoy the beautiful things that are about to happen to you. You've earned this. You may have had that hard knock life, but you are going to be a light, a lamp, excuse me, a lamp. They said lamp, lantern, and then I heard like spotlight, floodlight. Like they're all screaming like different forms of light sources. And it's like you're going to be the strongest light in the area that you're going to be entering. You're what you're preparing to walk into a valley of darkness, but be prepared for it to be very, very successful because I do not see you failing in this mission. Okay. So Holy Spirit, give us some words of wisdom for this beautiful King of Swords stepping out. <coughs> Let's see. What's the message? First one says, Yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshipers will worship the Father in the Spirit and in truth, for they are the kind of worshipers the Father seeks. God is Spirit, and His worshipers must worship in the Spirit and in the truth. And that's from John chapter 4, verse 23 through 24. Now, I want you to take a look at that scripture very closely. And I want you to go ahead and take a look at that sword. That sword of truth with that king of swords. And see how he's choosing to speak with the divine and worship God in spirit instead of his own ego. Remember, we talked about 
how the Hierophant here is that blind faith in God, that relationship to God, that, that power of believing in the unseen and then being able to see the unseen with the high priestess here and balancing that out and worshiping in spirit the way that we mentioned before. This is that scripture tying that tarot card message together. It's just all buttoned up into a nice, pretty little package. God is pleased with the way that we are worshiping him. Okay, some people in the Christian community may not understand what it means to push our spirits outside of our body, to push ourselves into a heavenly place to worship God at his throne instead of forcing God to come to earth to listen to our prayers or to beg our angels to deliver our prayers to God. You know, have you ever noticed that for some people they'll pray and it may take like a year before it gets answered or for some people it may be a couple of weeks or a couple of months, but a prayer warrior, their prayers are answered instantly, like instantly. That's because they don't stray from God. We sit in spirit with him 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I share Every moment of my life with God through my eyes. I let him experience my life through my eyes. Because I realize they're his own, you know. I invited him to come live with me. I want to be a good hostess. I want to show him a good time, right? I want to take him to all the fun spots. <laughs> oh, I love inviting him into our messages too, guys. Because God really does love each one of you. I can feel that. And he's proud of you. He says you've come really, really far. And that's why you're being poured out all of these impossible blessings. You know, your wishes are coming true. You've stepped through a portal and started a cycle that is a lot of hard work, but God says you're prepared for it. <laughs> this next one is trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy the safe pasture. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. And that's from Psalm chapter 37, verse 3 through 4. That is part of the sea otter and that happiness message. To enjoy life where you're at. Be thankful for the blessings that you have received because it's not all work. God wants you to experience joy, experience the beautiful things in life because it's not, you weren't sent here to just be a sacrifice for all people, you know? You were here to be a light in dark places, but to also have your own life to live, your own dreams to fulfill. You just happen to really enjoy having your dreams couple with mission work to God. Like you're the kind of energy that'll say, man, I wish I, I could travel the world and go to a different country every year. And I feel like at one point, like you thought about it and you were like, yeah, but you know, if I'm going to go ahead and spend the money on a vacation, I might as well spend the money and do a vacation half mission work and I'll still see beautiful countries, but then I'll still be working for God and volunteering my time and being able to do two things at the same time. Like that's, that's your energy. You would love to do something like that to really dive in and, and volunteer and work in other countries just to, to be a good neighbor, you know? Being thankful for visiting another person's country and then helping make that country beautiful. It's like giving back to a, an environment, the, the beauty and the pleasure that you took from it, you're giving back. And I feel like you really appreciate different cultures, um, different different um different churches in particular like you like places of worship even for like different religions like it's something that you truly 
enjoy because there's there's a lot of high frequency energy at places of spirit where spirit resides you know oh guys i really like this message and i really like this king of swords growth if this is you bravo bravo you really really unlocked like the mother load of the mother load when it comes to um choosing your path here on this planet but it's going to be very successful it's already very successful and i pray many many more blessings coming to you in the future so i hope this message resonated with you um take care of yourselves guys have a great rest of your week and god bless each one of you